Hello, I'm Jamie, the potter here, making all sorts of quirky, fun home goods, and I've been doing so for the past two years. This week, I am in the midst of market prep once again. I just had one last Sunday, and now this one is in a week and a half, I believe. Thankfully, I saved some pieces that I bisked from the last collection and I didn't glaze them. So now I'm going to glaze those, fire them. And then I made a handful of things yesterday that just need to be trimmed and fired. And then I'll glaze those and fire them. And I should have a complete little haul to present. This will be my second like major vendor market. So I'm hoping that it's a cool experience. It's in a totally different part of town, totally different crowd too from the last one I did. So it'll be nice having them so close together because I can compare and contrast. And I learned a lot from the first one, so now I know what to do for the second one. At first I was a little hesitant about doing markets because it seems overwhelming and it definitely is and it's very exhausting, but being able to meet the customers and actually have people hold the pieces before they purchase it is like, yeah, you can't get that online. So to be able to like have conversations with people about my work and just about me in general and like my process and to be able to connect with people like face to face really is cool, especially since most of this work I'm doing like at home alone. I'm excited for market round two, come along for the ride. This week is a little bit of everything. So let's get to it. I definitely thought that I, in videos prior, had made enough to last me for two markets, but thankfully I sold a lot more than I thought I would last weekend. So now I'm trying to kind of fill the gaps because I do still have all of these pieces, but I just want to make some more so that my setup can look pretty full the entire time or for most of the time. This event I think is 12 to 5 and the kiln is firing a glaze fire that I will unload tomorrow. I like having unload days be on Fridays because those are also my like social media days because I don't like being on Instagram all week. I do a photo post, I do a reel, and I'm in my stories at least like 10 times during the day. Everywhere you can find me on Instagram on a Friday, like I'm in it. And I kind of like being able to have like a little, here's what I did this week so that it's like you're reading a little story of my week because I'm a writer at heart and I love stories. So that's that. Let's get to trimming.
Hello, good morning, it's Friday. Here's my bouquet that I made yesterday. I'm thrilled. I'm going to go unload the kiln and hopefully the glazes that I was almost certain would drip, drip, drip onto the shelves did not. And hopefully the plates that I propped up in a way that I then thought they could warp did not. And hopefully everything else that I trusted would come out in a good way did. So let's go find out. kiln and pieces are unloaded. This yellow was one of my favorites. I knew painting it that I was going to love it as a bowl and I love it as a bowl. It's so fun. A great pop of color. The combo happening here I knew and like the fun action on the handle where it got drippy. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm really getting the hang of it or just like figuring out what I like and how to make it happen and I did not this glaze used to really frustrate me because it like would run but now I figured it out to where I want I get it to run where I want it to like this so good I just love the colors I love them so much small load I had some other stuff that I fired for my brother-in-law and his came out great too. I kind of use the same colors, but this will be a very easy batch to price and measure and all of that. And I sanded a few things down while I was at my parents' house. So that's one less thing to do here. I love it. Really excited to fire and glaze the rest of this stuff so that this pop-up can be a banger.
I hope you enjoyed my little thrifting adventure. It was so fun to do something totally unrelated to pottery for an entire day. Um, it was great. And I just feel like I've been in my head a lot lately about like business stuff and like where I want to go and what I want to do and like how to actually bring to life the ideas that I have and like making money and figuring out all the ways I can diversify my income. All those things I have just kind of put a lot of pressure on myself and essentially stressed myself out. And yesterday I wasn't able to think about any of that. I was able to enjoy time with my friends and I think that made me realize that I was putting a lot of pressure on myself that's very unnecessary. I think I just want to succeed or make this uh, a thriving uh, full-time income like immediately and that is not possible so as much as I am like slowly getting there and like making profit and like it's all been like worth it I yeah I just want it now and I know that's just <laughs> me being impatient and not really grasping the reality of what it's like to start from scratch at something. All of that to say, I'm learning a lot and I'm so glad that I'm able to learn a lot right now, even on the hard days. I know that this is like where I need to be. I just need to like fine tune it a little, which only comes with time and experience. So yesterday was a good break from, yeah, sitting in that for a while and I think helped settle. <laughs> my wild emotions on all of those things. Monday. I am so unbelievably tired today. Couldn't really tell you why, but I am lagging. Thankfully, I didn't give myself too much to do today, except for go to the clay, clay, the clay store and get more clay and more glaze. One of the colors that I have been using recently and have fallen in love with is of course discontinued so I did get one or two new colors that I hope will make that a thing the guy who works at the store I've just like become buds with after going there so much since I started he's been so helpful in my journey and he gave me some of his glazes that he wasn't using but felt like aligned with my color palette and I thought that was so sweet so I'm excited to try those out I yeah I was putting them on my test plate as you saw and hopefully they will look great they're ones that I wouldn't necessarily pick but I totally get why he thought I would appreciate them because of the like tone of the color in it I have a couple photo things to do because I'm also a photographer I've just been spending more time making pots now, but I've got to do that. And then some more ad mini things for Wonky and rest up for two straight days of glazing this week and then a firing on Thursday, unload on Friday, and then I have a week 
to finalize and prep everything for the next market. I feel really good about that. Hopefully everything goes according to plan. So I'm attempting to paint all the stuff that fired in the kiln yesterday and stuff for my Wonky Tonk subscription so that I can have a nice full kiln. Hopefully I can decide what colors to do what. This is always the hardest part for me. That's today's challenge. I'm hoping to at least get half done today, do half tomorrow. Will it happen? I guess we all just have to stay tuned, huh? <laughs>